Hey everyone, Caffeine Man here, and today I got some cheap drinks for you. Because I know deep down you guys like cheap drinks, cheap skates. I've had several requests to do more cheap drinks, so I decided to go out and grab some. I'm actually considering doing a cheap drink series. It won't be like a back to back video, it'll be like in another week or two weeks or three weeks or whenever I have a chance to do it. Because there are lots of different places that sell cheap drinks. The ones I'm going over today are the ones from Aldi's. Aldi's? It, Aldi's? Not Aldi's? Well, I gotta get it right. Everyone knows I can't say jalapenos right. I know jalapenos. Jalapenos. Aldi's. Aldi. So the drinks I have are from Aldi. Even though it only has one L, which is Al, it's pronounced like it has two L's, Aldi. And they got themselves a generic Red Bull called Red Thunder, which is a regular sugar version as well as a sugar-free option. Additionally, they also have Gridlock. And that's all, or Al, Coming right up. Hello again, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you want to stay informed of all things caffeine related, feel free to hit the subscribe button. I post new videos every Tuesday night. Also, feel free to check out my link down below to Campus Protein for all your pre-workout drinks and supplements. And even though we have some of the lowest prices on Bang, not everyone really feels like buying a full case of one flavor if they're not sure they're going to like it. So now, Campus Protein is selling Bang variety packs. Like I said, feel free to check out the link down below for all those details. And don't forget to use coupon code CAFFEINEMAN10 at checkout for 10% off your whole order. So in today's video, we're tasting out some cheap drinks. And I mean, we're talking super cheap drinks. How cheap are super cheap drinks? Well, I got a four pack of Red Thunder. Guess how much that four pack was? Did you guess already? Well, if you did, you are probably wrong unless you've bought them before because they were only $3.29 for a four pack. For those of you who don't like math, that's 82.25 cents each per can less than 83 cents a can. That's how cheap they are. As for Gridlock, well, those are a little more expensive, but still cheap at 99 cents each. But the Red Thunder is 82 cents for 12 ounces. The Gridlock is 99 cents for 16 ounces. The Red Thunder comes in an original sugar version, as well as a sugar-free option, and it's pretty much a Red Bull knockoff. As for Gridlock, it comes in three different flavors, an original flavor, a locale flavor, and a zero option flavor, and they're all supposed to be monster knockoffs. So how well do all these copycat drinks do? We'll find out. Let's first talk about some of the ingredients. First, we'll start off with the Red Thunder. This drink's got 170 calories, 42 carbs due to 40 grams of sugar. You have 40 grams of sugar, whoo, a 12 ounce can, but I'm not gonna give them too hard of a time because that's just around the same amount as Red Bull. Red Bull's got about 37 grams for their 12 ounce can. So there you go. As for the B vitamins, it's got 180% of your B3, 420% of your B6, 290% of your B12, and 140% of your B5. That's a lot of B vitamins. As for the ingredients, well, if you look over here, you're going to notice that, well, not that you have all the Red Bull ones memorized or anything, but you got basically a lot of your standard energy drink ingredients. There's nothing special in these drinks. They're your standard energy drinks. You got your carbonated water, you got your sugar, you got your taurine, you got some inositol in there, and really, you just got the basics, as well as having 120 milligrams of caffeine. So as you guys know, simple math, 10 milligrams per ounce, the standard amount for most energy drinks. So what about the sugar-free one? Take a look at it. This one's only got 15 calories, because it's sugar-free. Got one carb hidden in there somewhere. It's got the same amount of B vitamins as the other one. And it actually uses most of the same ingredients, except for sugar, they substituted out sucralose and ACE-K, your typical zero sugar sweeteners. This one also has 120 milligrams of caffeine. So how about Gridlock? Well, if Gridlock is actually trying to copy Monster, it's actually gonna have some different ingredients than the Red Thunder, but probably a lot of the same ones that Monster has since it's copying it. So let's start off with the original Gridlock, which has 270 calories in it, 69 grams of carbs from 64 grams of sugar. Woo, that, that, that's actually more sugar than the original Monster. They'll really one up in them. They jam pack this thing with B vitamins as well. For your B2, you got 260% of your daily value. For your B3, you got 250% of your daily value. For your B6, you got 240% of your daily value. And for your B12, they, they didn't want you, they're looking out for those people that are deficient in B12 because they're giving you 500% of your daily value of B12. You're gonna be home to the bathroom a lot. 
As for some of the other ingredients, you got taurine, you got L-carnitine, toss in some guarana seed extract, a little bit of inositol, and even though, even though, even though there's 64 grams of sugar, they decided why not let's put a little bit of sucralose in there too, get it extra sweet. I mean, I, I, I don't want to drink these. Why am I doing this? To save some money? But then again, people buy the original monster and spend way more than a dollar for crappy ingredients. But I digress. Any guesses as to how much caffeine? You're right, 160 milligrams of caffeine, 16 ounce can, 10 milligrams per ounce. Well, let's move on to the low calorie one. The low calorie one, it's only got 45 calories in it and it's only got 12 carbs from seven grams of sugar. It's got all the same B vitamins, so I don't have to go over those all 200 to 500%. As for the ingredients, it's got mostly the same ingredients as the original, with just a couple of tweaks here and there. If you look at the ingredients list, you're actually gonna see sucralose move right up that list. It went from near the bottom in the original to near the top in this one, meaning it's got a lot more of it in it. To make up for all that sugar in the original, and how much caffeine we talking? Well, you know, they go down on the caffeine when they go to the low calories and stuff. So they actually went down to 140 milligrams of caffeine. And lastly, the extreme red. And even though they're calling it extreme, you'd think they're gonna like pack a whole bunch of sugar in there. Or you'd think maybe they got a whole bunch of caffeine in there or something to make it really extreme. But the truth is, this is actually their zero sugar option. Go figure. It's only got 10 calories, six carbs, and zero grams of sugar. As for the ingredients, it has a lot of the same ingredients as the other ones and then some. The additional ingredients are basically just things for food coloring and maybe some flavor, maybe some healthiness, which include beta carotene, fruit juice, and vegetable juice, minus any sugar. Plus, what do we have up there? Oh, see, you thought I was gonna miss it, or maybe you missed it, but what do we got all the way up there, higher than the sucralose and ACE-K? What is the top one up there? Look at it. It's the third ingredient, and it's erythritol. And as you know, or you might not know, you do now, I love erythritol. I think it's a great artificial sweetener. It's 70% as sweet as sugar, and they really haven't found anything bad about it. Not that they found bad stuff with the other artificial sweeteners, but I, I, don't, I don't talk artificial sweeteners. Anyway, love erythritol myself, personally, and there are several drinks that do have erythritol in them as energy drinks that I talked about in my other videos, so you'll have to watch those videos to go find out. In any case, this has a little more caffeine than the low calorie option, and a little bit less than the original at 150 milligrams for the 16 ounce can, so. Let's taste them out. Just gotta go to my campus protein fridge to grab them. And in addition to what I mentioned earlier about the variety packs of Bang that we now have, I also found out that we just started carrying the Rain Inferno, as well as the new Mangomatic and Strawberry Sublime. I'd stick with the Mangomatic. Did he just mention Bang and Rain in the same sentence? Yeah, I did. I don't discriminate. They can fight out their own problems. But you guys can buy Bang and Rain from Campus Protein. I say order them at the same time, have them come in the same box because that'll really make both companies mad. And if you're a small company looking for a 15 to 20 second shout out on the Caffeine Man fridge, I'll leave some information down in the description box down below or feel free to DM me on social media for more information. So first off, we're gonna start off with the Red Thunder, the sugar option. And did you notice the other ones, the gridlock disappeared from behind me off the fridge? You'd think that I'd buy two one for the taste test, or one for the display. But even though they're a dollar, I'm just as cheap as you guys. I don't need to buy two. You saw them there, now they're over here. I'm gonna be tasting them up, I'm gonna be holding them up to the, I'm not buying two. Cheap, let's taste it out. Looks like Red Bull. Let's see if it tastes like Red Bull, I doubt it. Well, you know what? It's actually definitely reminiscent of a Red Bull. I first started to drink it the first second or two. I'm like, oh, this actually kind of tastes like Red Bull. And then that quickly went away. And then I got a much lighter flavor of Red Bull and then just energy drink. And then within seconds of having that reminiscent Red Bull flavor, it went to just generic cheap energy drink. I mean, if you're looking for some energy from an energy drink, and you're just really, really cheap. Like you're looking around the, you're looking around your car and you're trying to search for change because you need energy. Well, you know, then these things are gonna do the trick for you. But I just say, to just pay the extra money and get a Red Bull. But Red Bull can be kind of expensive. I know that's one of the people's biggest complaints about Red Bull is that it's so expensive compared to all the other sales that they got going on with all the other companies, et cetera, et cetera. 
So you might want to go for something like this. Uh, carbonation, medium to high carbonation. Sweetness, uh, probably medium to high sweetness as well. And the flavor profile, uh, I'm gonna say it's got a medium flavor profile and that medium flavor profile, it's not really all that great. So it's not like it's a light flavor, but it's not overly strong either. It's right in the middle there. And it's like a middle generic flavor. And actually right now, as I'm talking, I'm getting some aftertaste of, um, um, what is it? I don't know. It's not good aftertaste, basically. It's sort of, um, if you like the flavor of cheap generic energy drinks, it's the aftertaste of cheap generic energy drink. I, I don't like that flavor, but if you do, then that's what you're into. Good for you. So, where's this going to be going on the Caffeine Man rating chart? It's definitely generic. It's definitely cheap. And I'm not going to, like, give it points or take away points because of the sale price of it. I'm not going to say, well, it's cheap, so it's good for being cheap. No, I'm going strictly on flavor alone. It's what I do for most of my reviews is just go by flavor for the Caffeine Man rating chart. And the flavor of this, mm, not so good. I'm giving this a 5.8. There are so many other drinks out there that I would pick up before I pick up something like this. Even at less than 83 cents, eh, not worth it. For me at least. You guys can feel free to try it out yourself and then tell me I'm right. Well, let's move on. Let's move on to the sugar-free one. And uh, I don't have high hopes for that because I don't like the sugar-free Red Bull. The, the regular sugar-free Red Bull. I like all the other flavor sugar-free Red Bulls. Moving on. Next up is the sugar-free Red Thunder. Can's not that much different. It's a lighter blue color, similar to the lighter blue of the Red Bull color. I, I mean, they're copying. Hey, but might as well go all the way. Similar color. Okay, so basically it's similar to the original one. It's got similar flavor and everything like that, except it doesn't have sugar, obviously. And you are getting that little bit of sucralose flavor in there, um, but it's not too strong. I was expecting them to overcompensate with the sucralose to give it like an overly sweet flavor. And it's not really overly sweet. Uh, the carbonation, medium to high carbonation. The sweetness, medium to, I think there's medium sweetness. I'm gonna go again. Yeah, medium sweetness, but I'm also getting kind of a diet flavor in there as well. I'm definitely getting that um, that sort of bad sugar-free vibe. You know, you got the sugar-free drinks that taste nice and sweet or even too sweet. And then you have those ones that taste more towards the diet side. And this is kind of tasting towards the diet side. The aftertaste is getting a little bit even worse. So uh, I'm not going to waste too much time saying how bad it is. I'm just going to put it on the caffeine and rating chart. And when you see that I'm rating this a 4.8, you'll know not to pick up the sugar-free Aledanda. Moving on. So next up, we're going to be going with the original Gridlock, trying to see if it tastes exactly like the Monster. Let's taste it out. Definitely got the Monster color. We're going with the generic energy drink colors here. And as most of you probably know, if you've watched my channel for a little while, I actually don't really like Monster, especially the original monster i think that it's too sickly sweet there's something about the monster flavor that i don't like and i just i never drink the original monster for like over 15 to 18 i drank it like once or twice that was it i think there was that one time that there was that one time you know you're out late you're at the club having a good time and and, and you just there's nothing else someone left an original monster in your car and you're like i am just i'm not gonna make it home and in those times, you, you do you do what you got to do. I'm not proud of it. I'm not. I, I mean, it pains me. But we do what we got to do. A moment of weakness. I drank some original Monster. Let's taste it out. Now, I could be going crazy, but... I might not like Monster, but this actually isn't that bad. For my little monologue there, I bet you thought I was going to be saying, oh, this is horrible. <laughs> but the truth is, maybe it's subconscious because I don't like Monster so much that I like other stuff, even generic drinks, better than I like Monster. Whew. But uh, yeah, so this is, it's, it's a generic Monster. It is reminiscent of Monster, similar to the way that the Red Thunder was reminiscent to Red Bull. But um, it doesn't have that uh, typical Monster flavor that I don't really like. 
um, the sweetness is a, it's very sweet with all that sugar in there. But it doesn't remind me of being sickly sweet like the original Monster is sickly sweet. But it's definitely got that generic vibe. You're not going to be able to get away from the generic vibe for only a dollar. Unless you're Venom. They did a great job. Anyway, uh, I'm going to finish this up to give you a little more accuracy in my rating. It's got a medium to high carbonation. The sweetness, I'm gonna go on and say this is a high sweetness. I don't think it's sickly sweet like the Monster, but it definitely does have a lot of sugar in it. It's even got a little bit of sucralose in it, and uh, it's definitely high sweetness. So if you like your sweet drinks, and you like your generic Monster flavors, you know, this is actually pretty good. I would probably never drink it again. I just do this for you guys. But where's it gonna be on the Caffeine Man rating chart? I'm going to give this one like a 6.5. And why do I laugh when I say that? Because when I originally rated the original monster, I gave the original monster a 6.0. So I'm going to give the Gridlock 6.5. Good job, Gridlock. Let's see how low calorie one is. So next up, we got the low calorie Gridlock. And I kind of like the graphics on here too. They did a good job with them. All right, so this review is gonna start sounding repetitive because all of them are just having that generic flavor to them. This one is also similar to the Monster because they're, you know, they're doing the copycat stuff. And I will tell you this, not some big monologue story, just a little monologue story, but I actually used to drink the Low Carb Monster. And the reason for that is because there used to be an auction house not too far from here. And they used to sell cases of Monster for like $15. That's 24 cans for 15 bucks. And I said for that price, I, I could take it because it wasn't too high in sugar, wasn't too high in carbs, and the flavor wasn't really all that bad. It was actually not as sweet as the original Monster. And I convinced myself that it was slightly healthier than like the original Monster. I, I know better now, obviously. Ultra or nothing when it comes to Monster for me. But as for this right here, low calorie one, this one's also pretty good, uh, you know, even though it has that generic flavor to it, um, it definitely has a sweetness to it. So it's got a medium to high carbonation. It's got medium to high sweetness. I'm gonna go in to see if it's high or if it's medium to high. It's medium to high, closing in on that higher. So they definitely put a lot of sucralose in there, a lot of Ace K to make up for that 60 something, 64 grams of sugar that was in the original one and it's almost up there in the same sweetness but i actually like the flavor a little bit better so where's it going to be going on the caffeine man rating chart we're going to give this one 6.9 if i was semi-desperate for an energy drink and i only had 99 cents on me plus tax i might pick this up but i do have a full-time job i'm not really living paycheck to paycheck like living other paycheck to other paycheck so i can afford something that tastes better than this I'll spend the $2 and get something better. So many energy drinks out in the world. So many better things to try. Spend a little extra. But if you can't afford to spend extra, because I understand what it's like. I was living paycheck to paycheck from like 20s to like 29, 30, before I actually even learned to not overcharge all my credit cards. And in those times, you pick up something like this for 99 cents, gets the job done. 6.9, moving on. Last one up, Extreme Red from Gridlock. Don't let me down, Red. You got this. That's right, you're not an energy drink color. You're Extreme Red color. And by Extreme Red color, I mean, it's kind of pink. I mean, Extreme Red, pink, big difference, people. Let's taste it out. Uh, uh, yeah. 
had to go back in because I didn't actually get what flavor it was. I'm sitting here jump cutting out the long time, the long pause because I'm trying to figure out what flavor this is. Um, it's similar to a fruit punch flavor. I was trying to see if it was maybe a little bit cherry flavor because, you know, it's red. So you got to think of what all the red flavors are. And I really think it's kind of going for a generic fruit punch flavor. It's not very high in that fruit punch flavor. So let me get into that. Medium to high carbonation, sweetness, high sweetness. They put a lot of erythritol in it in addition to all that sucralose and inositol. Definitely made it very sweet. For the flavor profile, I'm giving this a medium flavor profile because it kind of tastes like a generic, go figure, fruit punch flavor. And even though it's really sweet, and here's the weird thing about it, even though it's really sweet, it's just a really sweet drink with a hint of fruit punch, which is why I'm saying that flavor profile is medium. That's why I separate these things out too. Just because something's sweet doesn't mean it's a high flavor profile. This is a very sweet drink, but it's got a medium fruit punch flavor. And it's not very strong in fruit punch flavor. I've had a lot of fruit punches on this channel. And most of them have a high or medium to high fruit punch flavor profile. So. Where's this going to be going on the caffeine man rating chart? I like the sweetness. I like that it uses erythritol. I like that it's zero sugar. So it's got a lot of good things going for it. I mean, it's using the panax ginseng extract. It's using the guarana seed extract. So it's got a lot of good healthy ingredients in it for being a zero sugar drink. I'd say it's the healthiest out of all of them. But based on flavor alone, I'm going to give this one a 6.8. And that is my review on the Aldi brand generic energy drinks for your cheap energy drink series that may or may not be a series. I can barely keep up with all the new drinks coming out as well as the company sending me stuff as well as all your requests. But maybe in the next month or two, there'll be another cheap energy drink series. So until next time, have yourselves a great day or night. And some of you may be asking why I'm holding this. And why I'm still using it. Didn't he say he got a new microphone? Well, as you know, I had tried this Blue Yeti and I did not like the sound quality of it. Apparently you have to be like really close to it for it to actually sound good, but it's usually about this far away and didn't sound good. So I heard good things about the Rode microphone, shotgun microphone, and I picked up this bad boy. I had some high hopes for it, except when I plugged it into my camera, it didn't work. Apparently, even though it says it plugs into a camera and doesn't need an external power source, which was a huge plus, don't have to worry about batteries running out, my camera doesn't have an external power source in the microphone. So this doesn't work. This is what happens when you're a new YouTuber who doesn't know anything about cameras and audio and visual or any of that stuff. I'm focusing on my content. And then you got people saying, oh, that microphone, you got the lapel, use something else. Well, you know what? I'm trying, people. I'm trying. I'm striking out left and right. Well, who knows? Hopefully, third time's a charm. Still have to send those other two back. Ah. <sighs>